Uh, welcome to a new video and this video looks a bit different because I'm using my Fujifilm X-T20 DSLM digital mirrorless camera and the reason why I'm using this is to check out if it can compete with my smartphones in terms of vlogging and this is what we want to try out right now. So this is now the picture of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and its wide angle lens, the biggest sensor on this camera with a crop factor of 1 over 1.54 um, inch which is I think pretty big sensor for a smartphone and this is how it looks like, this is the bokeh that you can create with this kind of lens and how does it compare? It's running now in automatic mode to keep it fair and simple also I've switched my uh, Fuji X-T20 that I have here to the automatic mode so here you have the automatic switch that allows you to use the automatic mode to yeah, keep it fair and simple also this lighting conditions changing especially in the sun it makes a lot of uh, sense to have the X-T20 also in auto settings uh, otherwise the, the aperture is all over the place uh, with f4 it has not the ability to um, get the shutter speed so faster down that uh, I'm still in focus and you can see me and that everything is not blurry so we keep it on auto for everything that we do on both cameras and we will start uh, now with the real vlogging test walking around so for this I take my selfie stick and my camera that I have and I do it like this and then you should see me put my microphone in my pocket or the actual recorder and walk a little bit around here and what you can see right now is the very good stabilization of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and of course the very good stabilization colors and auto exposure and of course also the very fluid motion that you can get uh, with this uh, device so if I vlog like this it will be pretty good and uh, yeah actually I don't have any problem this is my primary vlogging device my Huawei phones uh, not actually this because I cannot see myself but actually my uh, Mate XS which has slightly uh, smaller sensor but still it's very good for vlogging and uh, yeah I'll just use the Mate 30 uh, Pro here to show you what is the best in terms of uh, vlogging cameras that you can get right now when it comes to uh, the wide angle and uh, yeah the vlogging uh, purpose of running around like this I can even walk a little bit faster and you can see that the stabilization is still keeping up with my motions if I run uh, it would be a little bit too hard but let's not get away from the camera too far so <laughs> let's go back and see how this works in comparison to the Fujifilm X-T20 that I have to hold in my hands actually which will make it a little bit closer probably but let's see how this looks like so and now the vlog with the Fujifilm X-T20 I'm holding it in my hand as stable as possible and you can probably see I'm closer uh, I can hold it, I can stretch my arm a little bit longer then I'm a bit further away but you can see already probably a major difference stabilization the X-T20 doesn't have any stabilization and the lens itself also doesn't have any stabilization so it's pretty shaky isn't it? and uh, of course I can do post-production and make it a little bit more stable but in general you have this problem with stability and if you even if you have a um, DSLM a system camera that has a stabilizer built in a sensor shift stabilization it's still a bit problematic you can still see shakes here and there and if you have a wide angle lens you can see like distortion and so on uh, which is a problem so what you the best combination that you can have is like a little bit more smaller sensor not APS-C but micro four thirds actually and a stabilized lens so that both can work together for creating a more stable shot if I walk a little bit faster you can see how unstable it is it's basically unusable this shot is basically unusable for vlogging so this is the reason why the X-T20 is not my primary camera when I when it comes to vlogging the other reason is that like, it's pretty heavy it's getting heavy so it is a bit problematic on the heavy side as well so yeah in general I would say uh, vlogging with such a kit even if it's a light little camera is uh, not the best and if you want to think about certain topics I think it makes more sense to have 
the smartphone what do you think do you think that the xc20 has the better picture and even in if you maybe stabilize it it's a better camera for vlogging than my phone this would very much interest me so write it down in the comment section and if you are a vlogger what camera or what phone are using are you using for vlogging it's also very interesting for me to know about this and uh, that's everything for this uh, video uh, like subscribe and share and uh, until the next time bye